In this video, I'm going to talk about how to set up React Native and or Expo push notifications. In about three minutes, we'll send ourselves a push notification and we're also going to schedule a push notification to be sent in the future using nativenotify.com. Before we get started, if you like videos about React Native, Expo, Flutter, web development, things like that, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. Let's go ahead and get started. Your first step, if you haven't already, is to go to nativenotify.com. Click this sign up free button. It's free to sign up. There's no credit card required. That should take you to a page like this. You'll want to click this create an app button. Click React Native Expo. Again, this will work for both React Native, just React Native by itself, or Expo. And it'll work in Expo Manage Work flow too, so you do not have to eject out of Expo. You can watch this video to go through these next steps. It'll also appear on the screen right there. I'll just walk through it real fast. Um, all you have to do is if you're not already using Expo in your React Native app, you'll need to click on this link right here to install uh, Expo modules into your React Native app. That's all you have to do if you're just using traditional React Native. If you're already using Expo, you can go on to step Step one. Step one is just install these things in your terminal in Visual Studio or whatever code editor you're using. Install these things, import this into your app.js file or app.tsx file. And then in the app function at the top, all you have to do is paste that right there. And you've already got push notifications installed in your app. If you're using a class component, you can click this uh, right here, these instructions. This video walks you through how you can still use uh, this inside of a class component. If you're already using hooks, you don't have to worry about that. You can just use uh, this inside of your app hook function. And then push notifications are already set up. Once you have all of this set up, you can just open up your app on an actual phone. You'll need to open it up on an actual phone using Expo Go. If you haven't installed Expo Go yet, you can open up this link right here. It shows you how to install Expo Go for Android or iOS. Then you can go ahead and send yourself a push notification. I've already got this set up on my phone here, so I'll send myself a push notification. This is my notification test. And as you can see, uh, the push notification showed up right there. This is a test notification test. So that's how you send a push notification right away. Uh, you can, after you get through the documentation, you can click this send button up here and it says send a push notification now. So this is where you can go to just go ahead and send a push notification right now if you'd like. There's also some advanced settings here. You can send a big picture with your uh, push notification if it's on Android. Also, if you'd want to send some uh, a push data object with your push notification, you can do this. This is a good way to, uh, if someone taps on a notification, it could automatically take them to a specific page if you'd like. Uh, this video up here should show you um, how to do that. Uh, what we're going to show you in this video, though, is uh, we have a new feature where you can schedule your push notifications to be sent in the future. The way you do that is by clicking this calendar button right here. This will allow you now to schedule your push notifications to be sent sometime in the future. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pick my time zone. I'll go ahead and schedule a push notification just to show you how it works. I'll schedule it for today and I'll just schedule it uh, for two minutes into the future. Uh, this is my test title. This is my test message. I'll go ahead and schedule that. All right. And so it's scheduled for uh, 4 16 p.m. Right now it's 4 15. Let's wait until it turns to 4 16 to see if it shows up on my phone. And there we go. It just showed up on my phone right at 4 16. So yeah, that's how you would schedule a push notification using nativenotify.com for React Native Expo. Just to give you a quick overview of all the other features available at nativenotify.com, there's something called a notification inbox. You can think of this sort of like an email app inbox, except uh, it's for notifications. So all the notifications you send to your users, they'll show up in this notification inbox within their app. To get that set up, you can can click this notification inbox setup guide. That'll take you to the documentation page, which is down here. You'll notice it's uh, blue down there. I'll try to make it bigger. A few things here is, so this will show you how to set up 
in-app notification inbox. Again, it's like an email inbox, but for notifications instead. Um, there's also something called indie push notifications. So what we just set up is called mass push notifications. Those are sent out to everyone all at once. But if you'd like to send push notifications to individuals, um, you'll wanna set up indie push notifications. This video here walks you through how to do that. It's a really quick process, maybe takes five minutes. That's how you can send push notifications to individuals. And this really unlocks a lot of features with Native Notify, this indie push notification uh, setup guide. From then on, you can actually set up indie notification inboxes, that means each of your individual users will have a unique notification inbox. It'll collect all the push notifications sent out to everyone and it will and the notification inbox will collect all the indie push notifications sent to that specific individual. And with an indie notification inbox, the user actually has the ability to delete uh, notifications within their inbox. Whereas mass push notifications, just the notification inbox, uh, they can't delete the notification notifications, but you can come here, click this button here, and you'll notice there you have the ability to delete notifications. So maybe you send out a lot of test notifications in development that you'd like to delete before going live into production so they don't show up in the notification inbox when the, the app is live. You can just come here and delete uh, the notifications that you don't want in the notification inbox. Uh, so that's that. There's also something called group push notifications. Notifications. Um, you can collect users into groups. Um, so instead of just sending push notifications to everyone or to individuals, you can subscribe uh, individual users to groups um, using this group notification feature. This is more for if you know on your end specific things about your, your users that you already know what groups to put them in. You can uh, use the this group push notification feature. Another option is you'll notice over here there's these people. It looks like three people. If you click on this, you can create what are called topic group push notifications. And so this will allow you to create groups yourself. Um, so for example, you could say uh, maybe you're a clothes store and you want to create a, uh, a shirt topic. Well, you can then subscribe individuals to that shirt topic and then just send push notifications to the individuals subscribed to shirts. Um, or maybe you're a church or something like that and you want to create a small group uh, topic, you can do that as well and send push notifications just to the users, subscribe to small groups or things like that. Um, so that's topic groups. Again, there's videos for all of this that you can watch and go over. Um, and the last couple things I'll mention is follow push notifications. This basically will let you set up a social network in under 30 minutes using native notify.com. Um, this will allow users, they'll be able to follow each other. And then uh, whenever a specific user posts something, uh, a notification can automatically be sent out to just their followers. Um, and so again, this just basically you can, uh, your users will be able to follow each other, send uh, notifications out just to their followers. Uh, and last thing is analytics. Uh, this is a super simple way. If you've tried out other analytics uh, programs and wanted to bang your head against the keyboard, because it's uh, so complicated. Uh, this you can set up in about three minutes and super simple. And when you have it set up, you can come into your uh, analytics page here and it'll uh, be just a simple, it'll show you how many views each of your screens are getting. It'll also, it'll tell you the total amount of views and the unique views that you're getting. And so, yeah, that's everything that Native Notify has. Before you go to production, um, you'll want to follow these Android uh setup guides. This is to get you set up for production mode when you're ready to go live on the app store. Also, there's some steps for iOS. Uh, both of these can be done in about five minutes, five, 10 minutes. Uh, they don't take that long. There's videos that'll walk you through everything. You'll want to make sure to have these set up before you go to production, before you go to the app store. If you're just in development, you don't really have to worry about this for a while, but before you go to uh, production, you're going to want to follow the Android and iOS 
iOS production guide. Um, or if you just have an Android app, you can just follow the Android guide. If you just have an iOS app, you can just follow the iOS production guide. Um, but yeah, you'll want to make sure whichever uh, platform you're using, you'll want to follow that as well. So that's how you schedule push notifications using nativenotify.com for React Native and or Expo. If you have any questions, be sure to post your questions in the comments below. Like the video if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.